and welcome to episode two of The Road to 2026, the series where we'll explain the changes to the regulations for next year. Today we're going to talk about the power unit and the very significant changes that are happening to it. And believe me, this ain't no small engine upgrade. This is going to fundamentally change the way the power unit works in Formula One. So why are the regulations changing? Formula One is an incredible place to push boundaries where we can show how innovation works and develop it to a level that we're able to race it at the circuit. And what we do at the circuit one day will surely become something that will benefit every road user in the future. These changes have been agreed with all power unit manufacturers and we will be seeing significant changes at the racetrack in 2026. And for Petronas, it's not just a hardware change. The 2026 regulation enables us to collaborate with other fuel suppliers to shape the Formula One fuel regulation. Let's take a minute to explain in detail what all these changes are. With the fuel, we are advancing from 10% sustainable to 100% advanced sustainable fuel. It's a big change and for Petronas, we are taking the challenge to meet the aspiration. We will see more of this in episode 3. On the power unit side, there are some fundamental changes. Currently, the combustion engine produces about 80% of the power and the electrical system about 20% of the power. In 2026, this is going to change significantly so that the combustion engine provides approximately 50% of the power and therefore the electrical system the other 50%. In the current regulations, we have an MGUH, which captures waste energy from the turbocharger. This is going to have gone for 2026, which means we must rely far more heavily on the MGUK, which harvests energy during the braking period and stores it for later use. In the current regulations, the MGUK is 120 kilowatts. For next year, for 2026, the regulations say the MGUK could be 350 kilowatts, so almost three times the power. But of course, it won't be three times the physical size or mass. Therefore, the first source of energy is still coming from the fuel and through the internal combustion engine. To ensure the optimum performance, our Petronas Sintium Cooltech technology has enabled to withstand higher temperature and therefore higher oxidative stress to ensure we do more with less. Also, the electrical parts need to be taken care of. That is the battery and the MGUK. The battery is cooled with a special dielectric fluid which is basically surrounding all the cell elements. It's a technology which is called immersion cooling. And the MGUK, little secrets, is also cooled by the engine oil. So we have also to cater for material compatibility and performances. The changes to the power unit and the fluids are also going to impact the driver and how they use the power unit. The increase in electrical power in particular means they're going to have far more options to attack, to defend when they're going wheel to wheel. The removal of the MGUH allows new power unit manufacturers to join the competition at a far more level playing field. Indeed, the fuel and the engine is a symbiotic relationship. We have made changes to the fuel chemistry to better suit the engine design as it advances. And there's also been some engine changes that better suits the fuel as well. One of the most exciting aspects of this regulation change is just how relevant it's going to be to the road car of tomorrow. Just think about it. We're talking about battery power, we're talking about energy. We're talking, of course, about advanced sustainable fuel. And thermal stress for the battery, indeed, the road car application and, you know, paramount importance. That's why we developed our Petronas Iona cooling fluid, which is specialized for battery. It is a direct technology transfer. We have, through the fuel retail development, whether it's inside or outside Malaysia, we have had some transfer of technology from the road to the race track and also from the race track to the road. What we are learning is informing us of what we should do in road mobility, even beyond motorsports. This isn't just a change to the engine layout. This is a change to the way we fundamentally think about Formula One, the way we think about performance, the way we think about responsibility, and the way we think about the influence that we can have on the future of mobility. And we're already deep into development. The work that we're doing today will influence directly how successful we are next year and beyond. The fuel, the fluids, the chemistry. Petronas doing our parts to put the power to the wheels. 